as we take our faith out into the world, did you know that you can join a picket line in support of workers? There are many stores in Denver that are picketing. Find a store near you and join them on the front line. I invite you to make sure that you read the bulletin this morning because Billy has a lot of really interesting information about the music that has played in today's worship service. On January 23rd, immediately after service, we will have our budget meeting. The budget will be sent to you this week, so make sure that you check your weekly email. That meeting is an opportunity for you to ask any questions you may have about the budget, and it will be on Zoom. Then on January 30th, we will have our annual meeting, which will also be on Zoom. Make sure you, sure you check your email for that annual report. Tammy has been diligently working on that report, and that will be sent to you through the email as well. On February 6th, Reverend Claudia will be with us. Our plan at this point is to have worship in service, worship in person that morning. As, as the variant, as this COVID variant changes, uh, we may have to change that. We don't want to. Our plan right now is to be in person. So please make sure that you are keeping track of all of the emails that we will be sending out. Also, finally, if you would like to be part of an, and, of an environmental group, please contact me and let me know. Um, I think that we need to gather together and do whatever we can to help prevent the climate disasters that are occurring throughout the world. This eco-justice group will research different ways to reduce, reuse, and recycle, as well as ways to reduce our carbon footprint and then make suggestions to the larger community. I'm really excited about this group, and it's because the time is now. It is time for us to take action on climate change. And now, let us go forth to celebrate and strengthen our inescapable network of mutuality and become the radiant hope needed in the world. As we go forth in this mutuality, may we experience God rejoicing with us. And let us go forth confident that unarmed truth and unconditional love will have the final word. Amen.